Hello, my name is Sumeya Sleiman and I'm the CEO of the Architecture and Design Commission at the Ministry of Culture in Riyadh. And um, to give you a little bit of a background about myself, uh, my educational um, qualifications start with a bachelor's degree in interior architecture, which I obtained from King Faisal University at the time. Now it's called Imam Abdurrahman bin Faisal University. And um, it's the same university where I got my Master of Architecture. Uh, I later got a scholarship to uh, complete my PhD at Newcastle University in the UK, uh, where I studied um, all about the architecture of Riyadh uh, from a, a public and political point of view, creating the narrative um, and historical structure of, uh, of what actually happened and also projections into the future. Uh, from then on, a few years later, I had uh, a great opportunity to be the Ibn Khaldun Fellow uh, at MIT, um, and this was an opportunity that I had within the Aga Khan uh, program for Islamic architecture, where I did 14 months um, of research. Um, there, I also at MIT had the opportunity to um, get executive certificates in strategy and innovation, as well as management and leadership, and later on also uh, in smart cities from the Media Lab at MIT. Um, in terms of, let's say, some of the previous jobs that I did, uh, most of my professional life was in academia. So I went through the traditional progression from a teaching assistant and so on. But I had a number of positions that really threw, um, let's say, that gave me the opportunity to, to learn a lot. So I became head of department for a graphic design um, department that was just starting out. So I was the founding chair at the time. And I was also vice dean for quality and uh, uh, academic accreditation. Again, something I knew very little about when I got the job uh, at the time. Um, at a much later stage, I also became dean of the College of Architecture, uh, dean of the College of Design, and um, uh, I did that for a few years before joining the ministry. Now, as a side note, I also was in the municipal council, where um, I was uh, one of two women in a thirty. A member council um, in its first uh, round um, at the time where women joined and uh, I think that was one of the really great experiences that I had where I learned a lot about myself and also uh, some of the limits um, that I actually knew I was able to kind of cross over uh, in a way. Lots of stories to tell there. Um, beyond that, uh, what's interesting about me? Well, probably not something extremely unique to myself. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there uh, who share something similar, but for me, I think there's always a sense of wanting to find a new challenge and then also really making sure that I'm kind of out of my comfort zone and then learning a lot. So whenever I have the opportunity of something that I know and something that I don't know, I would usually choose the, the one where I don't know much about so that, you know, on the one hand, it's a little bit more difficult and challenging and engaging, but then also, the learning experience is um, is great. Um, I did something similar as well, something that I'm uh, quite proud of and hopefully I'll be able to return to that, which was that I started running in 2014 and uh, I immediately got, um, you know, I, I got the, the running fever and re was really hooked on it for quite a while. And I uh, started to um, uh, join races and I did two half marathons at the time. It was only unfortunately that I did then also have um, an injury that I'm still trying to recover from, but I'm working on getting back and hopefully um, be able to join perhaps in one of those next races. Uh, I want to take this opportunity to thank uh, the Tumur organizers for allowing me to be member of the month. And uh, I hope to see some of you in some of the meetups and gatherings um, in the next uh, months and weeks and years to come. Thank you. Thank you.